That was quite a debut. A sigil. What's that? Power is what I'm missing. Hardly. Power doesn't interest me. Mm. Keep telling yourself that. When did you figure it out? I had a feeling when we first met. Even with the sigil in the way, you and your mother have the same tell. Which is? Very inconvenient for you. I wasn't sure, sure, until you. Nice to see you again. Billy. Hey, panelers. Welcome back to the show. I'm Mark. And I'm Becky. And I'm Steve. And this is Panels to Pixels podcast. This is a spoiler-filled podcast about Agatha All Along, episodes five and six. Darkest Hour, Wake Thy Power, and Familiar by Thy Side. Hmm. Synopsis for Episode 5. With enemies closing in, the coven flees under the light of the blood moon to the next ghastly trial, and another witch departs the witch's road. Uh, My synopsis for this episode is, what the heck did I just watch? (laughs) Um, Synopsis for Episode 6. Familiar teen is much more than he seems, and his connections to the rest of the coven are revealed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are in the witching hour, everybody. It is Halloween season, and we are having fun. Uh, we're moving on. This time, about last year, or maybe the year before, we were doing Werewolf by Night with uh, Rob Moda. And now we get Agatha all along, which is pretty cool. And I do enjoy it. And I just love the idea that they get some spooky stuff going on in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the Disney Plus Marvel series. And Agatha is moving along more for WandaVision, which is amazing. And I'm loving it because we're getting the continued story. But. We learned a lot within these two episodes. No, oh my gosh. <laughs> and I think I called it at a certain point. Oh, you did. I have a note here. One of my notes ends in, you were right, Mark. <laughs> Again, I mean, that's what I say. Honestly, from what, I, from what I've seen on the internet and what I've looked at, it was like the worst kept secret of all. Like it was like, it was like, it was one of those things. It was like everybody knew that's who he was, but nobody wanted to say it because they were afraid it was going to be, a, you know, a red herring or that it was going to be taken off in some weird direction. So it's, it's, it's nice when a show goes exactly where you expect it to go. Um, it, it's weird, but yeah, I'm, I'm for it. <laughs> so. But yeah, Mark, you called it early, early on. Yeah, I did. I'm the uh, lone one who was a bit <laughs> clueless at the end of this. But the, I'm the novice, so to, <laughs> yeah, to all it, my team. Yeah, it, honestly, uh, Becky, it's literally just me reading the comics and having had that experience. And same thing with Steve at times where we've read it and it's stuck in our brain from when we read it so long ago. Mm-hmm. And it's well, like, oh, it's foreshadowing. We knew this yeah. because we were comic readers. Well, and for me, for me, with with in particular, for I wasn't totally sold until episode four when mm-hmm. Rio uh, very plainly said he's not your son. And so, as soon as she said to Agatha, he's not your son, and indicated that she knows kind of who he is or knows who he's not. At least that yeah. that kind of gave it away for me to where I was like, okay, he's got to be one of one of the one of the two, one of the, the one of the Billy or Tommy, yeah. yeah. And I knew, I mean, I guess it, I couldn't remember which one was which it, from one division because like, it's been a yeah. while. Yeah, I couldn't remember which one was the mind reader, telekinetic, uh, telepathic uh, one, and which one was the speedster. I couldn't remember until uh, uh, until like I said, but as soon as she said 
as soon as uh, Aubrey Plaza's character said, it's not your son, I knew right away, I said, okay, so it's got to be Wanda's. It's got to be one of Wanda's boys then. So it's that's what's for me. And then, of course, we get that last shot at the very end of episode five with him in the crown, you know, and, and, and Agatha saying, you're just like your mother. Uh, and then of course this, this episode, episode six, we get it confirmed completely. So where there's no, no question in our mind. So. Yeah. And the one thing I would like to elaborate later on, <clears throat> we also talked about Rito, Rio Vidal. I said that she's working in, uh, uh, with, somebody who has not been shown yet or mentioned in any way, shape or form. I mentioned Mephisto. Now, Steve, you and I, when we covered WandaVision so long ago, when it was on Disney plus, we had all these allusions to Mephisto within that show for that season. Yeah. And it was never, it never came to pass. That was one of those, that was one of those ones that I, like I said, that people, I think that's why people kind of backed off. Mm-hmm. On this being Billy, because they were, we had so many indications for Mephisto in WandaVision and they didn't pay off. And it was just like, kind of, okay, are you just leading us down a path to disappoint us? You know, we did get the Nicholas Scratch reference mm-hmm. uh, there in, in episode, yes. which episode five, can we just like, <laughs> go ahead? Like, I'm, I was, when I rewatched it today, I was blown away by how scary really that, like, I, it was it was really pushing the threshold for Disney yeah. from I mean mm-hmm. uh, yeah in 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 this to my in my opinion anyway because it was just I was just like wow they have really they are really pushing the the scare factor here with you know with the contortionists and showing yes. Agatha being possessed and and the, oh, yeah. some of those images were wow so they I'm, went I'm straight impressed. to the horror yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> they did they did they brought it. Yeah, they did bring it in the sense that uh, it gave you those 80s slasher kind of films of scariness I, or yeah. the um, imposing H.P. Lovecraft kind of movies back then that they remade in really bad B-movies, everybody. I, you know, I love those as well. But it gives you those mysticisms like a Wishmaster or something like that. And it, it gave me those vibes. and the comedic wit of every actress that's on the show, actor or actress that's on the show that worked with in conjunction for the episode works out perfectly in the sense that you, you get that. Okay. It is giving that comedic sensibility, but giving the dramatic element of it as well as the horrific points of it. So it it's kind of a meld of different genres all in one and it that flows make, that keep flawlessly. you at ease, but holding that comic book element that we all love because it's all part of Marvel, which we know it's going to overlap into the MCU itself too, because we're going to see these characters, some of them, in the MCU movies at a certain point. Mm-hmm. So, and then all, on top of that. My theory it has always been is that, yeah, we lost Wanda a long time ago. I don't think we're going to not. That's not going to be the last we ever saw of Wanda. Uh, in no, the, not in now. CEO. I don't think so. Yeah. Now that we we know that this is her kid. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how she'll come into it, but we're, I'm. If it's not the end of the season, it will come out again at a, in a movie format mm-hmm. uh, or who knows Moon Knight. <laughs> I mean, I, I hope so. I, I hope they can bring Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olsen back at some point, you know, in, in some sort of fashion to, yeah. to give that character. Cause I, you know, Dr. Strange and the multiverse of madness was a, that was a tough ending. And yes. we've had some throwaway lines here in, in uh, in Agatha all along regarding that she's dead, you know, and then like there was the in, was it is episode six when mm-hmm. Agatha is trying to figure out what what Billy wants from the road and and she says something about or uh, or no it was it was I'm sorry and I'm sure we'll talk about yeah. Evan Peters reprising his role oh, yeah yeah of, come of episode boner, six everybody of boner. oh that was yeah. amazing spoilers everybody spoiler yeah. review <laughs> yeah. yeah we're no melding, we're melding these yeah we're melding these two episodes together but you know um she has a throwaway line about a uh, vision being used somebody had a throwaway line about vision being used by sword for parts 
Yes. You know, yeah. and, and we know that would be the colored vision, not the white vision, because white vision flew off at the end of WandaVision. So we still yes. have a vision out there somewhere. But yeah, I, I I'd like to I would like to see us get some sort of ending with these or something with these characters again. Yeah, same here as well. Uh, things that uh, we we can move along right into favorite moments or, or interesting takes that we took from episode five, which is darkest hour, wake thy power. I really like the fact that they brought up brooms. Yes, mm-hmm. and and the the historic value of it. it's like oh it's so yeah we don't really talk about it but it's so cultivized in in media and everything else now and. Uh, in in basically Lily's rant was in great. The community and I, everything it was, else. It was perfect. Like her whole thing about and it's and it's the the male whatever the patriarchy showing. Uh, yeah. You know the whatever she how she put it that I thought was great. That it's it, the it, most uh, simplistic spell and to do. But the funny thing is, is what they didn't realize is that it took them off the witch's road, and that's why they couldn't use them after a certain point. So yeah. they got crash landed anyway, and even. But- Billy got a stick. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. that's one of my, one of my favorite notes or favorite parts I've got here in my notes is the, the sight of the blood moon mm-hmm. as they're flying. It was very bewitched um, yes. as the, as each witch is, is flying in a line. But what I loved the most is the look of utter, joy and contentment on every single one of their faces, including mm-hmm. Agatha, yeah. that that they were on these brooms and that they were flying. It was just like, it made me like it brought me into the moment with them. Like I feel, yeah. I feel how happy and excited you guys are right now. It was wonderful. Yeah. yeah. They, I, they haven't done it in over a hundred years. Somebody had said, mm-hmm. and then one of them cackles like the wicked witch of the West. From was the that, Wizard oh, of Oz, Rio? somebody I forgot who it was. I can't but remember, but you're I, right; they sure did. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, it's so elated of of hearing that." Yeah, I thought it was great. It was very for me. It was it it really called back for me. It brought back from uh, the nostalgia of ET, the extraterrestrial. You know, when they oh, yeah. uh, take off oh, the bikes, yeah. on, the, on the bikes, and they all <laughs> yeah. have this just this joy of their their flying. That uh, that's what it reminded me of to see them all take off like that. But I, I I'm right there with you, Becky. I thought it was great when when you had there in episode five when uh, uh, teen because he was still teen in episode five. Yeah, uh, when he gets attacked by the 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 specter or whatever um one of the uh, seven i think that's yeah what it was. no no he got he, uh, during the during the trial he got oh, attacked yes, and he makes yes. the, he makes the comment about oh i'm part of the coven now. yeah because i've been attacked i have now been directly attacked because he hadn't been in all the in the other trials he hadn't been really affected or attacked and so this is True. the first time that we see that happen and so he's uh it was it was really great to see that elation in him to go i'm glad i got attacked kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> i'm part of the cover yay yeah. but you know it's, well, then, it's what it's like when you finally feel like you fit in somewhere it's yeah. that rewarding moment that it's like mm-hmm. oh i belong somewhere especially now that we know what he's been going through for the last however long, three years, three um, years. Yeah. It, it really added to, to that excitement for him. Yeah. I loved the Salem seven. I loved that flashback of Agatha and her mom is not nice. I don't, (laughs) I, I think we finally have a bit of understanding Mm-hmm. As to why Agatha is the way she is, she had no chance. Um, but when she was, they started firing all of their power on her. And I'm going to skip ahead and we can go back but uh, to the cabin scene. But when it, everything that happened with Alice uh, really got me thinking, I don't think she can control when once she starts getting that power. Yes. I don't think she can control it. So is she truly guilty of killing intentionally killing Alice and the seven when 
I don't, I don't think she is. She seems surprised. You talk about Agatha, right? Yeah. 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 When she was tied to the stake, she seemed surprised when that power hit her. She thought she was going to die, but then all of a sudden she realizes she's not. And then Mm -hmm. boom, they're all dead. And then the same with, with Alice, when Alice attacks her, I'm I'm with you that this, this series seems to take that idea of where she says, Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to do it. But then, but if you go back to the last episode of WandaVision, which I I watched before I started the series a few weeks ago, if you go back to that last episode of WandaVision, it's very clear that she was meaning to get attacked and knew that she could draw Scarlet Witch's power. Hmm. in that in that instance so i don't know I, I don't know if there's a if there's a point where she can stop it if she chooses to or if it gets past it or like in this one she has this that was her first with alice attacking her that was her first taste of getting her power back so maybe maybe yeah maybe that that surprised her because she didn't know she didn't didn't realize it would have that effect on alice maybe i yeah i can i have to Mm, I have to watch that again. To yeah, I, I well watch the first scene when she's when her mom is it. That's that's where it really. Oh hits yeah, me for sure. It's she like, didn't. She yeah. didn't know that oh, yeah. this, I, she could, was capable of this. But yeah. I do think when Alice fired on her to get her mom out of her, that it broke. She, I mean, it spell? was obvious. She liked. She once that power hit her, yeah, mm-hmm. she liked it. But I don't think it's like a, an addict is the best way I can describe it when yeah. they are craving something and they uh, cannot they, they get that taste of it and then they just can't yeah. they can't stop. That's yeah. she seems okay. like an, an addict to me. Okay, I could go with that. Yeah, I could, I could, I could see that, and, and particularly because, because, like you said, Mark, she's gone so long now um, that without any power, and that's why she's on the road was to try to get her power, her power back, back or get power back. Mm-hmm. And so when she finally gets that taste of power, uh, she's now she now has it, and and so we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna see a different Agatha at I all think. costs because we see it at the very end. She basically mm-hmm. even Billy says it at the very end. The teen. He mm-hmm. says, oh, you're literally taking from these people to get your power back. Is that how it is? You mm-hmm. kill people to continue to live, and that's what life is as a witch. Uh, just a paraphrase of, yeah, you know, because yeah. I don't have the, uh, the like- quote. But it's so weird for the fact that the way I thought it was when Alice did that with her and giving that power, it opened up Agatha even more. Like you mm-hmm. said, Becky, like as if it was an addict. But I think there was still some things within Agatha that were hidden and dormant that she wasn't able to recapture. She remembered her mother. She remembered everything that happened. But I think this kind of opened the floodgates of, Mm -hmm. yeah, this is me. Yeah, no, I agree. And that's it. Yeah, and for sure, I think when we we go into, as we're going into episode six, we definitely see that when she crawls out of the, out of the mud. Yeah, you know, and and she's definitely at that point where she's she knows who he is. You know, the sigil has been lifted, mm-hmm. and because uh, she said there's no it's there's no need for it anymore. We know who you are, and we still okay. I'm going to digress here for a second. Good. Because <laughs> go ahead, we do this all the time. As I watched, what we as, do. I, as I watched episode six again, a mm-hmm. couple of things bothered me. <laughs> And Mark, you know, there's sometimes there's little things that bother me and there's a couple little things that bother me. And what bothers me is we still don't know who actually put the sigil on there. I mean, are we no, to we think do. it was Agatha? Was it Agatha or was it Billy himself that it put the sigil Wanda. on? It was Lilia. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh okay. So when she, when she gave him that, the, when I she drew gave it him and the, put oh, it in she, his pocket. Okay. But remember when she drew it. And put it in his pocket, she immediately could not remember whose jacket it was. Because oh, the witch won't remember. You're so, you're who so wrote good. The sigil. Yeah. That's so perfect. You're so right. That's exactly yeah. that makes so much sense now. Yeah. Now I, rich, thank yeah. you. Yeah. You just answered that the huge question. That's what the sigil was in the process. I it was Lil oh. Lily all she, the she time. Out uh, when, she uh, read, when she read his palm, she figured yeah. out who he was, who he who had inhabited his body yes or no who she was saw going it coming to, she right, saw she saw that she saw it coming broken in right. two 
And she, she saw knew, what was going to happen. She knew something bad was coming. And that's why she put that's the sigil so on it because she that's didn't so, know what that you, to come out. And she it was, was so brilliant smarter. the way they, they, they tied they that. Wrote it. Together. Oh, you're so much smarter than me. I, I mean, I, I it took me, it, it took me, yeah. Do you want that recorded and so you can Please. put that on a loop? <laughs> um, Funny ringtone. I, I, I was, I was so glad in the second, in the second uh, uh, viewing of episode six, when I saw the moment when Billy takes over his mm-hmm. body, because, you know, we hear his heart stop. In the car, in the car yes. wreck, and then and then he suddenly wakes up and says Tommy's name, and and that was the moment when Billy Maximoff inhabited his body. Which Correct. another, oh hey, it's it's quite a coincidence. He just happened to inhabit somebody that had the same first name as him. Uh, good for him. Yeah, uh, but that's why he had no memory. That's why his memories were gone. Okay, so the other thing, you've cleared up one thing that bugged me about it, and now I'm I'm disappointed because I don't have anything to no. Um, <laughs> but the other thing is. We still don't have any explanation of of what changed Agatha from nosy neighbor lady to police detective. Where she did I, it's it's it the spell from it's Wanda, like she, right? I, that's what yeah. I'm saying. The, the end of the end of Wanda Vision. She's still the. She's the nosy neighbor lady oh, with the bright. Hi, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and has no idea who she is, who she is. And then Agatha all along starts out the very first episode. She's a police detective. I, I was so confused. Well, when the first. You, Go ahead. If you remember when she's talking to the, uh, the neighbor that's watering his flowers and she went once she's come out of the spell yeah. uh-huh. and she's ranting about the, de- you know, being a detective or whatever. And he's like, well, you have been on a bit of a true crime spree lately. Yeah. So whatever is OK, it's yeah. like for me, you know, right now I love Halloween. So if I were under a spell, I would make my world you know, all about pumpkins Howling. and candy okay. and ha- costumes uh, and whatnot. But in right. two months when I'm into Christmas, <laughs> that's, that's the personality uh, and right. thing that uh, I would uh, take uh, on. Uh, that's uh, the, I'm not saying that's right or wrong. That's what I gathered. Okay. 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 I can, I mean, I can see that. I remember the true crime comment. It just doesn't, it, it just bugs me. But anyway, it's not, that's a little nitpick. That's not a big <laughs> A big also, thing, but, it gave uh, us the killer mayor of intro, uh, mayor of East Town parody. Exactly. So. I, I mean, it did, <laughs> it did definitely do all that. It, it gave us the great, you know, parodies of detective shows, and 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 gives and she's able to parody the the tough female uh, detective, the you know uh, uh, from SVU, the yeah the, <laughs> special um, victims unit. <laughs> yeah, and and we, we get to see the tough female detective uh, doing her thing. So okay, I uh, I'll, I'll give it. Uh, give it still, but anyway, so that's yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, but I do love that that Billy acknowledges it, and, and this is the only quote, and I don't have the direct quote in front of me. Is is when when he's talking to her and she's kind of interrogating him in the house, and he's like, "This you're stuck in this in this uh, this weird reality that you you've uh, uh, how did he say it? You have uh, you have committed to you have seriously committed to this this weird reality of yours." He's like he's like, I "Like it? I can see you as a detective, and you've weirdly committed to it." Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, when um, she had the the spray, the hose sprayer, it, it whole spray, as her whole spray. gun, I, I was, yeah. almost I think I watched that like four times Uh, it it was but i really that was a cool trick that they chose to do to show us giving us his backstory and to show us uh, of course we're still in six we haven't even talked much about five but the way they um they let us see all of that unfold from his point of view which made Mm-hmm. Because right. it was As she it, thought she was, had a gun. She thought the pictures were the pictures of the flowers were the dead body. Correct. And he's like, like no, she looked at the me, the picture oh, thinking the she was looking at Rio. <laughs> right. Um Yeah, yeah. That all was, the, all and the it was things funny. Was really, it made it yeah. so much funnier. It, it it showed the illusion right in front of her that she was under the whole yeah. time. Under and imagine that her neighbors, that's what they're seeing. Well, kind of like when she oh awoken and she was naked in the first episode remember yeah, yeah. 
And she goes, oh, come on. And then she just walks off naked, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Catherine Hahn's a beautiful woman, to mind you. If she did, I'll be like, whoa, holy crap. <laughs> it's like that. I'm not looking. No. Yeah. I'm not looking. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I can't I um, see that now. I can't <laughs> look through. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like holes in the fingers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> But yeah, I, I, okay, so go ahead. Oh, I was just going to bring us back to episode five. Yeah, for so a bring few us back to five because we haven't finished we, up five yet. Yeah. Six is, six is the, the focus, but yes. I do want to talk about um, the cabin. The, mm-hmm. the notes here I have on the cabin, I think the Ouija board was an excellent choice. Yes. Made me think of being Which you know, 15, 16, babysitting. There was yeah. always one around. Did you move that? No, I didn't move that. Again, and there was a game rules. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there was three old, and up. <laughs> eight, just three and up. Yeah. <laughs> Spanish, <laughs> Chinese, oh, English. You know? yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. the, the clothing choices uh, were old very 80s Friday the 13th. Yeah, I yeah, felt the like 80s. I was yeah. at uh, camp. What's it called? Crystal Lake. Sleepaway, Crystal Lake. Sleepaway, yeah, Crystal Lake Sleepaway Camp kind of thing. And, yeah. Uh, I felt all of the possession moments it was straight up Evil Dead. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah because, that that cabin yeah. scene is is you know and you know they start out with some levity with the rules and and all that and, and then with uh, Agatha pretending to be uh, <laughs> Mrs. Hart. <laughs> Mrs. Hart. Oh my um, goodness, I love that uh, part. Was was great. Uh, but then you know they broke the one rule, or they they broke two of the rules. First off, they let go of the plantain. Yeah, uh, and yeah. then they taunted they taunted the spirits. You know, and, and he's like, "There's t- two rules: don't take your drink the plantain and don't taunt the spirits." You know, so uh, they they brought it on themselves. But still, yeah, I know that 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 cabin scene is uh, it went straight from comedy to to Hard. horrific yeah. or. Uh, very eighties, very eighties movie like slasher you know? films mm-hmm. almost mm-hmm. in that sense. Very much like uh, with Scream, it's like how they kind of sh- told you the rules and they broke the rules within the movie itself. So they did that within Agatha all along, and I thought yeah. that was pretty cool. I liked it when Teen feels the drop of blood come down from the ceiling. Uh, I went to every horror movie I've ever watched that flashed through my head. I thought that was just a nice, yeah. tiny little uh, nod. Um, let's, Agatha, once again, not even trying to be a part of the team and participate in the trial <laughs> by faking uh, Mrs. Hart. And when Jen figured it out and she took out her retainer <laughs> to fuss at Agatha, was very. I missed that. I, I do. I missed that too. Oh, it's oh, it's That's so great. good. <laughs> She's like getting ready to give her speech. And she takes her retainer out and sets it down, and I'm like, "Yep, that's pretty much how it was." That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that that was great, and just that the idea of Agatha being possessed, and then all of them being so willing to punish her. You know, like oh, mm-hmm. we get to we get to we get to beat up on her. That's let's go ahead and do it. You know, and and then you know it was funny too because Rio makes that switch where one moment she's ready to slit yeah. Agatha's throat, and then she's like, no, I'm not going to let her mom take her. No, she <laughs> mom can't have her. We're gonna we got to have her. You know, so it was really it was a very much uh, no. We have to pick on Agatha. You can't pick on Agatha, kind of thing. right. Hmm. And we'll talk about Rio later too, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, I missed her in episode six. I was just like, I I kept waiting for her to turn up somewhere, and she didn't. So I was just like, because it was more of like a prequel or backstory. Yeah, it was more of the flashback of setting up everything. But yeah. then once once they got back onto the road, and we got back with Agatha and uh, and and Teen, and well, who we're going to find out who he is, you know, uh, I thought maybe she would show up, but uh, I thought no. so too. Yeah, and you have and to I factor in all the casualties we're going to get on the road mm-hmm. as we get to the end. You know, well, it's like, I mean, that's, it, you know, to go like back to episode five. Road. Yeah, to go back to episode five, you know, the ending of episode five is mm-hmm. is teen attacking Agatha. And then and then when the other witches help him attack Agatha and get rid of her, he then attacks the other two witches and buries them. 
as well. And it's like, whoa, okay. He did, I don't he, think he had control. No, um, no, he was very that. much I don't like think he Wanda. meant to do that. He just, he was so caught up in the moment that. You know, he was he, just lashing out. Yeah, he yeah. Did he was lashing that, out because Alice had died, and and, and, and such what a heart wrenching oh. scene when he. That was some great acting by that young man to to mourning Alice and then absolute fury mm. with Agatha mm-hmm. that you know she caused this and that this was her fault and. It, it, it was intense. It was very sad. And then you had just a brief moment of, you know, almost uh, what's the word guilt from Catherine Hahn. And then she mm-hmm. does her amazing turnaround and then she's back to being, and I, I, my note just says Agatha's going to Agatha. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, just like as we move, as we, so as, as, as episode five finishes up with that last shot of, of the teen's face and we, we just see that little bit of the crown on top of his head and you can see how it's definitely reminiscent of Scarlet Witch's mm-hmm. crown on his head that yeah. we all, if you didn't, if you didn't know it before and they're going to just blatantly hit you over the head with it in episode six, but if you didn't realize before, yeah. you know now, you know, when Agatha says you're just like your mother, and then we see that little that little bit of the crown, just you know the the I don't know my screen cut it off at the top, but all you could see was just the bottom part yeah. of the crown on his head. But it definitely was a, a reminiscent of the Wanda, uh, the Scarlet Witch crown that she wore. And the song, I don't know if you mm-hmm. know that it's song, Billy Eilish. Like Billy Eilish, but yeah. the first time I heard that song was in a hand, Handmaid's Tale season four trailer and i was like who is this i have to have this song it's haunting when it came when they played it and he's mm-hmm. showing the crown and the that was what is it see me in the crowd is that what it is you should see me in a crown yeah in a crown um right. in the crown right. and i was just like and then i realized this episode's been on for like five minutes it was so quick yeah it was it was a fast episode because it, it Episode episode five. I don't know how long it actually was, but it did seem. But then episode six is like over forty minutes. Yeah, which uh, was, I was glad because I would have been mad if they just shortchanged just again. Right. Yeah. Right. I I was uh, very shocked that that episode five was like thirty one, thirty two minutes. Okay. And then when I watched episode six, I was like, oh, but we got a lot more than what we were expecting especially mm-hmm. within the background uh definitely with billy's like because with the interrogation of well agatha being the investigator she mm-hmm. had him there you could see his clothes are tattered so how long did she really have him captive there and, yeah <laughs> and grilling yeah. him yeah. during that time because they were like i don't want to go back in the right away <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah no I, you know to, to back up though that car crash that was another one of those man i'm surprised they didn't put a trigger warning uh before the episode for that yeah. that car crash when that when the car spins off the road and hits the hits the tree it was it, again blood disney's just ramping up the the violence and uh uh, really giving it to us. So. Yeah, they're giving us that before we get Daredevil Reborn, everybody. And I can't wait. Yeah. Um, so before they, we go into... Yes, we uh, should do a couple quotes for episode five, right? Oh, you, wow, do we, you want to do those now or at the Yeah, end? yeah, let's do episode uh, five quotes before we get into six, because I think we covered about all that we can on episode five. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, Mark, you want to go first? I didn't have any. Oh, <laughs> none for you, Steve. No, none for me. I, I, well, I lucky didn't for y'all. Post. Yeah, it's all <laughs> Becky. <laughs> uh, I just have to. Um, when Janice uh, thinks she's talking to Mrs. Hart and uh, Sashir's performance is, "Hey, girl, you feeling better? Uh, how's your face?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just love that the everything yeah. she does is her delivery is so good. And then um, this one I thought was just uh, I think it's something everyone should hear was 
uh, when Lily had told Teen, enjoy the now, it's the only thing that's certain. I just really, yeah. that, that impacted me, and I thought that was worth repeating. That's from Six. That's when he's in the... Uh, that's oh, when it he, is from Six. It, yeah, that's when he's in the, the fortune teller booth. Well, y'all right? are lucky now I only have one left for <laughs> Six. <laughs> I, I, and that's, that's a, you know, I, I love... The, the, again, the kind of misdirect when we start episode six, we expect that it's going to come right back to the witch's road and, mm-hmm. and seeing yeah. and seeing Billy with the crown or seeing teen with the crown on, but we don't. We get this bar mitzvah, uh, thing. We get this, th- this, we see teen getting dressed with his yarmulke and getting his hair all perfect. And, and we, we realize, oh, wait, this is a flashback to before everything yeah. that we're starting that we've seen. His thirteenth you know, birthday because he did when say because it's a happen happens. Yeah, yeah, well, they gave us that on the if you watched the previously on, um, they said that because he asked Alice when her mother died and she said when she was thirteen. That's when she went through the most the, the most horrific or the oh, worst time. And he said it happened her, to me her, when I was thirteen. When I was Look thirteen. At- Excellent awesome. connection. Yeah. yeah. So then we get the bar mitzvah, and that's the night of, and that's also the same night as the last episode of WandaVision. Cause you know, they have all the alerts on their phones that come mm-hmm. up about, the, about what's happening in Westview. So we get that correspondence there. Is that right? Is that the right word? The corresponding timeline there of, of where we're at now. Cause it is three years, right? WandaVision was 2021. Mm-hmm. I was just looking at that today. And, wow. Uh, I can't believe it was three years ago. That's crazy. I know. Time flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and reality too, everybody too. Honestly, if you think about it, you know, we did literally get WandaVision in 2021. Yeah. And when that was the first, you know, you also go back to that was the first MCU show. Uh-huh. Biggest. Yeah. And yeah. It, it, it kicked the doors down, everybody. Mm-hmm. It did. It, it brought me into Marvel. It sucked me into the entire. I, I watched. Uh, I went straight to the End Game with Thanos, wow. and then um, uh, I went. I went all over. Um, <laughs> That's great. It, no, it, well, it really was your me introduction. In. It, WandaVision was your introduction because a lot of people didn't like WandaVision. I, I mm-hmm. think Mark and I, we were, we were in the minority when we loved it. We we're just, I know I love, I loved yeah. how they changed genres. I loved how this show is doing the same kind of thing. It's definitely a spinoff. Uh, you could call it a spinoff, a second season, whatever of WandaVision. It's definitely, but we have that, that I know Mark and I both loved WandaVision a lot. Oh yeah. So. I, I am with you. I thought it was phenomenal. Uh, I want to just give one nod to the guy who played teen's dad uh, Paul Adelstein, um, yes. loved him. He's been in so much great stuff, but the top things that I enjoyed him in are Scandal, The Menu, Private Practice, and Prison Break. Oh, okay. See, I've yeah, not Prison I've Break. Not, I remember him from. Yeah, I have not watched those shows, so I don't. Uh, I I you stopped watch. watching. Well, you. I don't know about Private Practice. It's good, yeah, but it's I bushy. stopped watching Grey's Anatomy at a certain point and never when did. Izzy pick up private. started doing the dead guy. What? Oh no! It was that's I, when I, I got walked much, away from Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I got much later than that. For me, it was when they killed off Patrick Dempsey. Spoilers, everybody, for a show from twenty years yeah. ago. However long it's been, uh, that <laughs> well, was it's been that on was, for forty years. So yeah, sure so you've caught it. By now. So, yeah, that was my my exit. My exit of the show was was that episode. Uh, I was because it was. Uh, I have a whole rant I could go on about Grey's Anatomy, but I won't. <laughs> but uh, but no, I'll, I'll have to check out Prison Break. I know that's it's on my list of of shows to go back and 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 pick up at some point. So yes, yeah, add Wayne scandal Calise. to that too. Scandal as well. I, I've yeah. heard good things. So I'm about to start a rewatch on that one. I just finished uh, all of the rewatching all of the Dexter. Um, wow stuff so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna go back to it's like i love sidebar um <laughs> watching shows that you haven't watched in a mm-hmm. long time yes watching dexter 80 percent of it felt like i was watching it again for the first time yeah so it's like i, I don't even remember way. that so i yeah. i love i love doing rewatches anyway yeah. sorry yeah. i i love what i have when there's been when there's been enough period of time after there's plenty of shows that I rewatched, but I love to give it, give it a few years. If I can give it two or three years in between rewatches, uh, that really helps. I just recently rewatched supernatural 
He did it just yeah. a few years ago. I watched uh, that for the first time. Wow. Last year. That's wow. a commitment. That's a commitment. If you got it through was. 15. I was like, is this uh, ever going to end? <laughs> <laughs> I love that show, though. That is that is probably, if I ever wanted to do a rewatch podcast, I could probably do a Supernatural rewatch podcast. I, I probably need to give it another year or so right now because I just finished a rewatch. But uh, uh, <laughs> that's one that I would love I would love to do because I there's eh, I don't want to go off. There's it's so a much, good one. I it is. And I used good. to tell people, I used to tell people, you know, it's 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 tough the first couple of seasons because they're so formulaic. But when you rewatch it after having seen it a couple of times and you start to see all the things in season one that Absolutely. don't pay off until four or five seasons later, yeah. it's it's amazing. So it's yeah. the writing. Literally, that's that's what makes yeah. it more than anything. great shows. Well, great that, shows. Eye candy doesn't suck. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. There are they are some good looking males there. I'm not not a I'm I'm not not a gay, but that's Jensen Ackles. I can see. I that. love that I, you can <laughs> can acknowledge a man's attraction. So many men can't aren't comfortable doing that. Yeah, and uh, I love that you're okay saying, "Yeah, he's hot." He's yeah. I'll give it up for. I'm not. I mean, Jared Padalecki. Uh, he's okay, but uh, that, that Jensen Ackles. There's something about him. I, oh, uh, there is. <laughs> oh, we got a, long, a lot more. Wow. Jensen. We are, uh yeah. And, yeah. and what the boys? At one he's point. In, yeah, the boys. Yeah, and, uh, he's he also he's also tracker. a recurring role on Tracker as well. Yeah. So do you I've like got Tracker? A, I do, I do. I, I I watched the first season and the second season just started. So I'm uh, I, I'm a Tracker fan. I like Justin Hartley too. And, uh, oh but, yeah, me uh, too. <laughs> good stuff. But anyway, back to Wanda. Sorry. Back All right. To, so we were back talking about Agatha, uh, Agatha. Uh, Agatha <laughs> all along. So, um, so we were talking about uh, Teen's backstory, mm-hmm. like how they tied WandaVision and Agatha all along together. And uh, my big, big wow moment was two things, actually, is she did put uh, Lilia put the sigil on him. Yes. And he is Billy. And I put you were right, Mark. Again. <laughs> yeah. Mark, and it's so yeah. amazing when you see the way and, and when they do the three year jump. You know, and then he's in the car with the with the other boy, and he brings him in to show him all the research he's done. Oh, how he's yeah. figured out. Eddie. Because yeah, he shows his boyfriend, sh- Eddie. Yeah, Eddie. I like Eddie. Yeah, like, Their yeah. chemistry was great. I, I like the fact that they actually brought it true to the Wiccan character from the comics, which was, and this is true to the LGBTQ community out there. So Wiccan is gay in the comics. Okay. So they make cool. it true to the show. Yeah. So, which is fine, but the thing was is that the fact that they did that shows full props to the writing, uh, they the writers attention. on the show. They paid attention, brought things true to it, but also brought Billy back in a sense of, I hate using majestic, it is magical for the fact that his mother is magical. So mm-hmm. I think a lot of this is going to be magical in a certain way. And that's what we'll lead into later when we talk yeah, well, more. And, and nods again to Joe Locke and his portrayal of when when you see him, like I, I, I referenced that moment when mm-hmm. it took me the second watch to understand the moment when Billy takes over his body, you know, there in the car. We hear the we hear the heartbeat stop and then it's it starts up again. He starts breathing and he says that, Tommy, he says that and he he wakes up. And you see them talking about him mm-hmm. and saying, William, William. And then when he's in the ambulance and he looks at the, the reflection and you can just see, even though the reflection is blurred out, you can tell, particularly on the second watch, it really, it, I think it took me the second watch to see how good his portrayal of confusion hmm. is about that, about that whole thing. The moment when his dad walks in and says, uh, you know, calls him buddy and says, this is where you're supposed to say, why, why are you calling me buddy? And and you can hear the confusion in his voice to go, really, do you not call me that? I don't like you. Can, and suddenly you go, wait, this is not this is not the same kid before yeah. the accident as it is after the car accident. And that's what he tells Eddie. He says, I'm not the same person. I'm a totally different person. I died. He's like, William Kaplan died in that car yeah. and I was and Billy Maximoff took over his yep. body. 
you know, and you're just like, whoa. Uh, so now we understand why we have a change of actors, why, you know, uh, as much as Julian Hilliard, I think that's the one that played Billy, um, was so good in uh, in WandaVision and uh, Doctor Strange. But we see why they had to change that because then the body disappeared. So he had to take over a new body. You know, Agatha and Agatha acknowledges that at the end of the episode when she says, you know, so you broke a few rules. You took over somebody else's body. It's not a big deal. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> Well, it's also like what Wanda had done, too, in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, if you think about it. She took over mm-hmm. another body of her self in another right. alternate universe. But, yeah. And on top of that, the original actor who did play Billy in WandaVision, as well as in the Multiverse of Madness, had give gave Joe Locke props on Instagram and oh, on, okay. on Twitter oh, as cool. well. Because he was proud of the fact that it's like he knew he was a lot younger, but they needed an older role character to take right. over. Very much almost like what they did with The Walking Dead when they had earlier versions of other characters that we all know uh, that were child actors. And then they did a time jump and it's like, well, um, they're not Chandler Riggs and they don't have a growth spurt that goes that fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah and and it was really cool to see that online too so i'm sure i'm sure you listeners have been paying attention to instagram and and all the media stuff that's going on out there as well that's cool that's cool that that, that, that really is nice. of that and, yeah well and i love that again this is ju- kind of jumping to the end of the episode but i love you know or almost the end of the episode when we do see the sigil gets lifted and we see we re- we replay that scene in her mm-hmm. in Agatha's house when she says who are you and he says i'm william kaplan and then she kind of walks walks towards him you know with this sly way of i know you're not telling me the truth and then he exactly. says he says i'm billy maximoff and it goes to black and i thought that was going to be the end of the episode. I was just like, I thought so too, which I was like, not again. I was like, <laughs> man, that was, but then they come back to Agatha digging her way out of, out of the ground. Uh, and we get that end that end scene uh, with them on the road, which I thought was great. So, which also leads to what the ultimate realization of what Billy wanted, which is to get Tommy. She mm-hmm. kind of drags it out of him stating, you want your other half. You want your brother. Tommy and that was kind of like alluded to in the very beginning when he screams Tommy's name during the accident Mm -hmm. or after the accident at that point when he takes the body so he needs to reconnect to his own brother but and a nice little caveat to go to that is that they go looking for Ralph Boner from WandaVision. I love this scene. I, I love this scene so much. Who was Quicksilver that Agatha ma- manipulated in her own world in Wanda's Westview to make her him Peter Maximoff, which is Wanda's twin brother. And he goes, I remember everything. And But the quick wit and humor and and what he brings to the character for uh, Ralph Boner, Evan Peters is amazing. It's so yeah. Good. yeah. I had to do a double take and it really, honestly, I had to look it up because I was just like, when he, when he first appeared it, the first time watching it, I was like, is that, is that the same actor? Cause he looks very different. He's got the, sh- you know, he's got the five o'clock shadow. He's all, he's, he's all in, in, you know, covered up with this hat and this yeah. jacket and, and you don't, he doesn't really, I, I couldn't really tell that it was Evan Peters. You know, I had to actually look it up and I was like, okay, it is Evan Peters playing that part. And then, and then you get the connection because he played Quicksilver in the Fox. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Fox universe. Yeah. The Fox universe. And so they brought him into when, when they brought him into WandaVision, they made the joke about, you know, about how he was, that the other guy wasn't available or something like that. They make a joke about the other, the other yeah. actor. Um, and it's just really cool to see him in this. And he was so paranoid and we're probably never going to see him again. Uh, but it was, it was so cool to see him and, and to see him play this part of this, this, this uh, paranoid, you know, conspiracy theory, but Hey man, go, come see my one man show in Paramus. I need you know? to fill the seats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. I want to give props to uh, her shirt, the Boner Family Reunion. Yes. Let's pitch a tent. 
<laughs> yes. I am hoping those are being sold somewhere online. I'm sure they because are. Because I will have one. <laughs> I, I caught that in the second viewing. I didn't notice it on the first time. I was like, is that a, is she got a boner family or something? Yeah. I didn't, I couldn't read it all. I, but I, saw I, I wrote that, was, that down in his notes as well. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious because he literally states, it's like, yeah, she took over my house. Literally, yeah, she's, she's living in his <laughs> house. My final quote is him talking about what she did with the house. Yeah. Oh, please. Let me go just ahead. go ahead and say Yeah, it. yeah, go ahead and share it. He's like, she took over my house and she really ruined the market value. Yeah, I just was out. like, oh my God, this guy had his whole life. Yeah, absolutely we, destroyed we find by out, this woman, and he's upset yeah. about the market value of the house. <laughs> the house yeah. That's great. Yeah. He he says he made me, she made me she made me kidnap a woman and keep her captive in my house. Oh, and I poisoned a dog. I had just like dog. Now it's we know what happened to the dog. Toward, yeah. towards Wanda <laughs> Division. Yeah. And what happened? Because the dog just disappears. And then she and then they had to explain. It's like oh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and yeah. she made him do it. Oh man, it's so sad. It is, but it was it was a like I said that whole scene with it when you know when when they get to the parking garage and Eddie's like yeah this is not a this is not a place I want to be murdered in you know and <laughs> um, well this is where he wanted to meet you know okay so uh, um, so we covered most I mean kudos of- to him for playing everyone. Um, Oh yeah, including us, the viewer, uh, even just his sweet, naive, demure self when he's—that wasn't him at all. I was like, uh, no. "You go, right. boy!" That was yeah. amazing. Um, and then we did talk about that he's not looking for power; he's looking for Tommy. Correct. Yeah. Um, yeah. All I have That's- left are just a couple of notes. Yeah, Same I mean that's well. a great that's a great thing you brought up is that that fact that we find out here in episode six we find out that everything he's been he's been pl- basically planning this all along all mm-hmm. was for them to get him on the road so he could find Tommy, you know, so he can get get to Tommy and now he's like now that I've now that my power has been realized I don't need you anymore and she's like well wait a minute your power is not under control and that's what mm-hmm. you were talking about Becky and Mark he doesn't know how to use it yeah properly. It's, it's, Right, right. And so so she's so now the two of them are together and it's now the coven two. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, nice three, connection. Or three. Which, we we did did we see Rhea Vidal full We haven't we did not no. see her in episode six at all. So she's she out was there part somewhere. of the coven. Yeah, and she's out there somewhere because we lost her at the end of five. I don't I I'd have to go back and rewatch again. I at some point we lost we lost track of her because when you know at the end of episode five when he attacks Agatha, um, it's only the other two. It's Lily. Yeah, and she's Dawn. gone. Yeah, and so we don't know. So yeah, she's out there somewhere. She's going to come back at some point. But right now it's it's Billy Maximoff and Agatha Harkness on the Witch's Road going yep. to the next trial. And I'm. Do we- uh, do y'all really think Jen and Lily are gone? Oh, I'm sure they're not. I, I mean, okay, if, if that Agatha was be, able to survive. That would make me annoyed if that's I how they went out. I have a feeling there's a, a plot of redemption at the end of this series or this season. For this, Wanda? For Agatha. Agatha oh, sorry. Agatha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it sounds to like bring Wanda back. because I'm Wanda's in an alternate always universe. references. I'll be right back. Yeah. But... <laughs> I think they will come back in some reference to either help Billy in some way or Billy and Agatha because there is something else afoot that is in my notes. We've already spoke about this. Uh, Steve and I alluded it earlier about how in WandaVision we, they alluded to Mephisto and a lot of the credit scenes or end credit scenes that, didn't really come into fruition, but it had Mm -hmm. all those elements that were standpoints within Marvel comics that they did at the end credit scenes. Like you saw little images and things of that. You could piece it together. Uh, The one thing about Aubrey Plaza's character of Rio Vidal, she just so happenstancely shows up in the very first episode 
and awakens Agatha's view and thoughts. And that's what brings us into the culture because she literally does a spell. But is she a witch or is she not? So my feeling is, and I always thought that Rhea Vidal was literally a um, pawn of Mephisto to get Agatha to do what he needs her to do. So there's an ulterior motive going on. So I think by the end of the season, we're going to see what, and we'll see Mephisto, I'm sure. We're going to see Sasha Baron Cohen at some point. And I think in in the back of my head, and I'm drinking the Kool-Aid, everybody, like everybody else out there in comic book land that have been speculating that do read comics. Uh, we never saw her in, like, during the uh, Infinity Stone saga. But in the comics, she was very prevalent and very much the reason why Thanos had to have those stones because who are you talking about? Uh, it would be Lady Death. Oh, okay. And a lot of the show represents a lot of it within Death. In the very beginning, we see in the morgue Wanda dead. And then well, the toe tag said Wanda. The tag said Wanda. We don't see Wanda. We just see a tag that says. I'm just saying these are are images and things that happen. We lost people. We saw Mrs. Hart gone. We saw Mm -hmm. Allie gone. Uh, Lilia, we don't know yet. (laughs) Uh, Jennifer, don't know yet. But they're still around. But you know, Aubrey Plaza's Rhea Vidal kind of disappears conveniently at that mm-hmm. point and she's gone but I- i'm thinking there's an underlining uh guide of evil in this to guide their path it's either okay. it, it, now is agatha and a hero or anti-hero at this point is she on the border of like deadpool <laughs> yeah in a marvel cinematic universe who knows i mean that's how i feel about her it's like one minute i I see good in her in the next minute. I'm like, well, you're just, you're so cruel. So right. who knows how it. Well, and, and like when you look at the research that when you go back to the research that, uh, that Billy did, that teen, that teen has done, it alludes to her being involved in some of the most tragic circumstances in the 20th century she's she's linked the to the explosion. Hindenburg, yeah the yes. Hindenburg explosion she's linked to other mass uh mass murders or mass killings at least mass mass dyings mass you know uh slaughters yeah, yeah destruction and she's kind of she's kind of linked to that and then you know when she's trying to count how many sh- people she's killed she just stops and goes well it's been it's been long you know, and just kind of, <laughs> just just kind of leaves it at that. Like she doesn't give give numbers. So I I think I think yeah I think it's going to be interesting to see. But that that's Marvel. That's what Marvel has kind of become. Is we have these these in between characters who are yeah you know uh, are they is it a, is he a hero you know Punisher. You look at Punisher. He murders and kills bad guys, and uh, he has a code. Sure, but still he Deadpool the same thing. He's got a code, but he's still kind of a bad guy in, in some ways. And Agatha, I, I don't know. Is she, is she evil? Is she what? And I think that's what uh, we're going to find out. Uh, well, we won't find out fully, but uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. This, this whole season. Yeah. yeah I'm I excited. See, I see a team forming. <laughs> at some point. I don't know why. Cause they usually team these up. We're, we're getting the, uh, what is it? Uh, Thunderbolts coming out eventually. Yeah, Thunderbolts is coming out eventually. So, yeah, but, you know, that, yeah. that's something to look forward to when it comes to the MCU as well. Uh, we have the new um, Captain America film mm-hmm. with uh, Brave Falcon New World as the mm-hmm. uh, Captain yeah, America. I can't, I can't embrace that yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's going to be different. It's definitely going to be different, and we'll see how uh, how how the 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 world will will accept it. Uh, I liked Falcon. Uh, and the Winter Soldier, I thought it was great, and I loved how yeah. they ended they ended the last the last scene, calling it Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I thought was was a really really cool title card mm-hmm. right there at the end because we have Falcon taking on that mantle, and uh, I, I like it. I we'll see. Uh, 
we'll see if it if it if the world will take it or not. But yeah, that is true. But yeah, back to, so as as we get to the end of episode six, we have Agatha and and now we know is Billy Maximoff uh, walking off. You know what do you what do you expect for the next episode, or what do you expect the next trial is going to be? Because we don't have unless we get Jen or um, Lily back, we haven't had their trials yet, right? We had we had we, Agatha's had, we tri- just had Agatha's. We yeah. just had Agatha's, and then we had Al, um, uh, Alice, Alice, Alice Jen. Uh, and Jen. We've had their trials, yeah. but there's we still have a couple more trials to go. What do you think? Or are we expecting to see Billy. next week? Oh, it could be Billy. It could be one for Billy. Let's. I yeah. feel like it's going to be Lily. I don't think they're going to. I mean, they might because the show has done nothing by the book. I mean, not by the comic book, but by the, you know, normal TV show layout book. Yeah, yeah, right. That uh, I feel like at so- somehow we're going to get to the next trial and Lilia and Jen will be there. And I think it's going to be Lilia's trial. Okay. Oh, and then okay. we'll end with Billy's trial and however they all, whoever's left, begin together to either defeat Bethesda, Mephe- is it right. Mephisto? Mis- Mephisto, Mephisto, yeah. Whoever yeah. the big, whoever the big bad is going to end yeah, up being exactly. at the end of, because according yeah. to IMDb, and Mark, we talked about this, uh, or you guys talked about this, uh, mm-hmm. I think last in the, the last uh, podcast about it. Uh, yeah. It's according to IMDb, it's nine episodes. Yes. So we just had six. So we have seven. We've got, we've got two more episodes more. to, yeah, three more, but I'm saying we have two more trial what we have, we possibly we have two more trial episodes. Yes, we're going to have you know that'll lead us to eight being the penultimate, and then nine being the final, the final episode that's going to lead us to whatever uh, the ending is going to be. I don't know. Is that going to be? Are we going to see Scarlet Witch? Are we going to see Mephisto, uh, Lady Death? Are we going to see uh, Tommy come back? Are they going to are they going to find a version of Tommy? You know, because did he did he take over somebody's body as well? Um, yeah. Or or what happened with his spirit? You know, um, all these are questions that I'm I'm excited uh, to see, and it's uh, it's it's killing me, but I love it <laughs> that that uh, Disney is doling these out one a week because it's yeah. you know it's, it's brilliant. Such... I was itching for six after five ended, mm-hmm. and you have to wait. Which is great because it's like it, the it, old days. Yes, yeah. it's back to regular syndicated TV, and mm-hmm. they they give you that little taste, a little sousant after it's like, yeah, we'll drop the first two, but right, come back next week. Yeah, yeah. but no, and no, then, no, 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 I no, come back next week. We're not Netflix. Yeah, we're gonna we're be a little bit it, like Amazon because Amazon. Yeah, we're not gonna give it thing. all they at do. once. We're not gonna give it Who to you all at once. Too? Yeah, yeah. I'm excited, so, yeah. but yeah, I think we're going to get, I don't think we've seen the last of Jen and Lilia. I think Rio in the background might be doing something to help yeah. them. And I, I think, cause we, we didn't get any of Lilia's backstory. We, we still don't have Jen's full backstory. Right. Mm. Um, yeah. So I feel like they have enough to fill at least one more episode of those guys, and then eight be Billy's trial, and then it all that bleeds into the finale where they all do whatever it is they're going to do against whoever it is they're going to do it against. Yeah. Because <laughs> that was not vague at all. <laughs> Well, for you two both, uh, that's all I had regarding these two particular episodes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm nope, kind of finished with my thoughts. Yeah, and my, that's my that's ideas. all. That's that was all a good I talk. got. I enjoyed that yeah. very much. <laughs> I'm I'm excited for the next for the next one. Let's. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not here yet though. We gotta wait. So that right. is true. <laughs> all right. Well, <clears throat> we are not the only 
podcasters that are covering this. So to show you some love out there to other podcasters that are doing it, Podcastica is actually doing their own with the Marvel cast. So I believe Penny and Jim, uh, and Jim are actually covering mm-hmm. uh, Agatha all along as well, as yeah. well as TV podcast industry. Yeah, I was going to say, Derek, yes. Derek and his team are, are doing it as well. Them. And I think they got, I think they got screeners. So they, uh, they may yeah, be uh, ahead of they, us. <laughs> they, they may be ahead uh, a little bit. So, yeah. so, uh, so check them out as well. So TV podcast industries, uh, go to podcastga.com for the Marvel cast and just, uh, and they're check all those excellent. Out. They're all cool. Yes. As yes. Well. I need to so, catch up with them now, now that we podcast that I need to catch up with all those other, all those other guys that are talking about this show and find out what we missed. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. So with that, uh, where else can listeners hear us? Obviously, uh, I'll start it first. I can be heard here as well as always on Panels of Pixels podcast. You can also hear me on the uh, my other podcast, Adrenaline Cinema Podcast on Pyrocore Entertainment Network, where I cover action adventure movies, uh, suspense thriller movies, all the stuff that gets you, uh, you know, get your adrenaline going. Uh, we're still working on stuff. You heard Rob Moda at one point. You'll probably hear him on the next one when we come out with uh, Joker 2, Joker Fully Adieu. Mm. And uh, Becky was on that with Rob and myself. And you could hear us rip that movie apart, probably, or show a little love to it to some degree. Uh, we were honest. We were very honest, honestly. Uh, but uh, you could hear me there. But yeah, Rob's still working on Film Tropolis podcast. I'm also working on something to branch out more for more podcasts. Our friend Billy, who is on Adrenaline Cinema podcast, to do interview with a vampire with Danny, myself, Becky, Lara. We were doing that, and then now Billy wanted to branch out and do something. So I might be doing a new podcast. Uh, which just elaborates more for other uh, I- ideas and interests in media like comedy films or comedy shows, dramatic or dramedies, or even music at this point. So I'm fiddling around with it, uh, but he will be doing Kevin can F himself and covering that. So if you guys have not watched it on AMC plus, check it out. Uh, Billy will be doing that. He just recorded it. I will be publishing that probably within another week or two. And then we'll have that weekly so that way you can engage him. Um, <clears throat> on top of that, like I said, I mentioned music as well. So I'll be working on that. I'm hoping by the new year I'll have that out. I promised myself I'd, I'd get it done by October. It didn't happen. But uh, not only can you hear me here as well as Adrenaline Cinema Podcast, Film Tropolis, but also on Podcast Network with Sandman Cast, as well as the Monarch Cast, which is also affiliation and uh, a collaborative podcast with Wilhelm, with uh, with Ben Beck. So Monarch's coming back, everybody, for season two. So check that out when it comes out, and uh, I will be there with Ben again. And also to give some uh, some love to Ben Beck with Wilhelm uh, with the recast. Uh, or yeah, it's the uh, revisited. revisited podcast. Revisited. Yeah, they've been on, on a little bit of a break. Um, I'm not sure when they're going to come back. Uh, if, if for those listeners that know uh, Ben, Ben and Kristen, Kristen uh, lives in North Carolina and uh, yeah. was uh, was affected by the the hurricane mm. uh, that, that went through there uh, the last few weeks. So they've they've uh, they've on a little bit of a delay of getting back to uh, revisited, but uh, they will, they will get back to it sooner or later, uh, hopefully. And, and just uh, all our prayers go out to uh, those uh, people still struggling after those storms that were just devastating. Yeah. And they're yeah, covering was... the good place now after they finished up Ted Lasso. So if you are not into it, I watched it and I never watched a good place. So I started watching and I watched the first three episodes. They're going to be covering the first two in one episode. And then, the third on the second. I don't know if they've released anything yet, but I will be sending in some um, feedback as soon as they do come back. Yeah. And Becky? Uh, I'm going to go back to my old school. Uh, I can be heard wherever Mark will have me. <laughs> <laughs> You're always welcome. You know that. <laughs> 
So she could be heard on Panels to Pixels podcast as well oh, as yeah, a friend sorry. on Cinema Podcast, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as what for me, uh, and uh, as for me, obviously you can you can hear me right here on Panels to Pixels podcast. I also send uh, voicemails to various other podcasts that our friends do that that indulge me uh, on letting me send epic. voicemails to them. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much. I've been uh, a little bit of a break this week. I've had some issues, and uh, I haven't even watched Daryl Dixon this week, so I'm. Totally behind. I'm behind. Uh, I can't wait. I can't. <laughs> pl- promise me you will leave a message for this one I, because there's so will, much that I, I need to hear your thoughts I missed, on. I missed. I missed this one. Uh, I'll send them something on it. I may not do a live Steve for La Invisible. I think I no, haven't watched you it. Have to. I haven't. I'll try. I haven't watched it yet, and I'll see if they'll play it. Sometimes they don't. Anyway, I, but uh, yeah. So you can hear my voice on uh, various other podcasts that our friends do. Uh, <laughs> obviously, the cast of us uh, that's doing the. Uh, they're watching uh, The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. Uh, I, I like to say the whole title every time I do it because it's, <laughs> it's, it's T-W-D-D-D-B-O-C. Um, wow. <laughs> that's a, it's that was mouthful. impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I practiced. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so you can hear me on uh, on various podcasts that our friends do uh, when they uh, allow me to indulge, uh, indulge, my, in, indulge me in sending those voicemails out. Awesome. Also, to keep you listeners surprised, too, of what's going on, I kind of mentioned Adrenaline Cinema Podcast. Jamie Demick and I will be back doing a little bit more. We're trying to get a little bit more out there for the Halloween season. So we're going to be doing Friday the 13th Part 5. We're recording this weekend. Right now, we're recording on Thursday night. Hopefully, this will get to you by Friday, Saturday, depending. And then uh, hopefully by then, Jamie and I have recorded Friday the 13th Part 5, our coverage on that particular movie because we want to continue with the Friday 13 coverage. But also keep in mind, panelers, we also will be coming back with Invincible with the new season, because the part two is coming back. So Jamie and I will be back for that. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait for that. More Robert Kirkman content in animated and explicit form. All right. With that, uh, we did not really put out any uh, feelers on this particular episode, I don't think. I, I think I put something out for episode five. We didn't really get anything out there for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or anything like that. But for those of you that want to send some sort of feedback, it's very easy. All you have to do is go to our Facebook group, facebook.com slash panels to pixels. There'll be an image there, whether it be an old one or not a new one. You can easily just put in an, um, a message saying, hey, or, in, or through Facebook Messenger, and we'll get it, and I'll read it. Uh, if there's one dedicated specifically for the episode, like I did with Snowpiercer for Agatha all along, uh, for all the other episodes that we've done, all you have to do is put them in the comments below. And what's on Facebook goes into Instagram, and I get them simultaneously. We'll read them. Uh, if you feel that you don't want to do that, Well, you know what? You could just email us like the old school way. Just send out a regular email and we could be found and you could write that to panels to pixels one at gmail.com. That's panels and two is spelled out T.O. pixels and the number one at gmail.com. And then we'll read that email out uh, that you that you wrote out and then have it on the podcast. If you feel that you don't want to write anything, we have all these cool nifty devices that everybody has, like phones, cell phones, iPads, computers. Everybody's had Zoom. Everybody has a way of recording themselves in their voice. So you can easily just record your thoughts, send it to me as an attachment in the email through panels to pixels one at gmail.com, and we'll play it. And that's if you're on the podcast itself, and we can comment it as we're listening to you talk and it'd be amazing and be fun. Uh, I already mentioned Instagram and Facebook, please follow along, subscribe uh, to those particular formats, follow us as always. Uh, We could be found on YouTube. You could actually listen to the podcast on YouTube podcasts, as well as the regular YouTube channel. And we do get people who do. I, I think the last episode got like 108 views. That's Very awesome. Cool. So yeah, awesome. honestly, you guys are either listening, jumping onto it, looking at it and go, oh, crap, this is a podcast. I got to go to a YouTube podcast or I got to listen to it on podcast. So with that, we still do get messages through YouTube from when you do that. 
So if you do send a message through YouTube, I still get it. It comes to the email. So we will read it as well. And we have done that in previous past because uh, Becky remembers that, hey, we brought up something about Snowpiercer and we covered that a while ago. Yeah. Yeah. So that, nice. that was fun. So uh, and also with YouTube, you could easily uh, subscribe, ring the bell and give us a thumbs up. And as always, with all the other podcast players of choice, like you got Apple Podcasts and Spotify, there's always a rating or review. Please do that. Five stars are always welcomed and happy and appreciated. Thank you very much. But leave comments if you do. Um, honestly, I, I love when people are honest. So, you know, I do take things with a grain of salt. So if you do say something negative, I'll take it. And if something that you say judgmentally that you want changed, we'll take it and consider it. And if not, you could come on here and we could talk about it. But that's your choice. (laughs) And that's like I said, you could always email us and let us know. But anyhow, that's about it for our coverage for Agatha all along on Panels of Pixels podcast tonight. Uh, we will be back for episode seven, which we do not have a title yet for. Oops. Yep. No, we don't because they oh, haven't released it. Oh, it's not out? It. Yeah. No, okay. not yet. <laughs> That's right. Like, dang dang it. it. We did it again. Gosh, golly, no title darn it. We didn't do it. <laughs> All right. So good night and spooky dreams, everybody. I just want to thank everyone for listening. I'm Mark. And I'm Becky. And I'm still Steve. <laughs> Same podcast, different panel, different pixel. This was Panels to Pixels podcast, and we'll see you on the next panel. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.